Steve M's Collision Editor is a tool for creating and editing collision files for GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. It is often used to perform mass actions and collision files. In this video, you will learn what features this tool has to offer. In the file menu, you have your standard options to create new, open, or save files. Let's open the single collision file named sin underscore bit underscore 07 that we extracted in one of the previous videos. It is important to note that this tool has no undo or redo options. It is therefore a good idea to regularly clone the models that you are making changes to, as means of creating backups. When you first look at the collision model, you will see it looks like a standard model but with no textures. Collision models are optimized versions of their corresponding model and are only used for calculating physics. The coloring you are seeing is defined by the surface properties. There is a number of surface properties for grass, rock, pavement, and so on. These surfaces has different effects such as will friction, particle emission, and whether vehicle wheel sinks into the ground. Not all models are as colorful as this terrain model. Some, for example buildings, are mostly gray. The viewport controls are described below the viewport. Whenever you are in view mode, it is not possible to select or make changes to the geometry. Before we explore the edit mode, let's first check what the menus at the top can do for us. Select the edit menu. Add. This adds additional collision models to your current project. This is useful if you would like to merge multiple collisions into one model. Find. This is useful if you are trying to find a model within a long list of models in your project. Batch conversion. This lets you convert collisions between GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Duplicate check. This is useful if you are working with larger conversions and want to check for any models that share the same name. File association. This is used for associating collision editor with .call and .cst files so that they can be directly opened by double-clicking the files. Let's check the view menu. This has a few options for how the viewport works. If you right-click your model in the model list, you will have various options shown. These options also work when selecting multiple models. We will go over what some of the options do. Show details. This opens an interface showing the statistics of your collision model such as its dimensions and vertex count. Rename. This lets you rename any selected models. Export. This lets you export your selection with a few options. Collision scripts which exports your selection to CST file types. Combined collision file. This does the same as saving your current project to a new file. Single collision files. This exports your selection to single collision files and multiple if you have selected multiple collision models. Attached to DFF. This can be useful when working with vehicle models which use embedded collisions. Copy as LOD. This generates a collision containing only the boundings relative to the size of the collision model. Collision files that only contain boundings are used for level of detail objects which appear in exchange for high detail models when moving far away. They are also used for vegetation and objects that aren't supposed to collide with other objects. Boundings are also used to calculate object streaming. Collision mesh. This has a few options. Clear mesh. This clears the polygonal mesh. Clear spheres. This clears all spheres. Clear boxes. This clears all boxes. Get from shadow mesh. This generates a collision mesh from the shadow mesh geometry. Generate face groups. This is used to group several faces together to speed up collision calculations by only calculating relevant groups rather than the entire model. Delete isolated vertices. This is used to remove vertices that aren't connected to any geometry. An example of this is a cloud of empty vertices spread around a model that serve no purpose. Shadow mesh. This too has a few options. Clear mesh. This clears the polygonal mesh. Get from collision mesh. This generates a shadow mesh from the collision mesh geometry. Make sure that the shadow mesh is watertight meaning it has no holes, or else it will create graphical issues. In 3ds Max using the cap holes modifier can resolve this. Mirror. This has a few options to mirror your collision model on various axes. Optimize. Use this to clear up bloat in the collision model. Compare the results using the Show Details button when in doubt. Lighting. This creates a skylight and or a sunlight for directional lighting. Collision surface brightness is used to determine how bright a vehicle or player is when standing on the collision. The parameters are. 
light intensity. This sets the brightness level of the light. Azimuth. This sets the world rotation of the sunlight. Altitude. This sets the height of the sun. Ambient light. This sets the brightness of faces that are not directly hit by the sunlight. This creates a gradient transition between surfaces. Material conversion. This converts surface materials between the games. We are now ready to jump into edit mode. This mode allows you to edit or manipulate the contents of the collision model. For example, you can change the height of a vertex. Because of its limited controls, it may not be favored for 3D modeling, but it is suitable for basic edits. This concludes the introduction to Steve M's Collision Editor.